Amo and Anne's effort to bring Austrian culture to Stratton was supported by its principal owner, Frank Snyder, especially when it came to Austrian Alpine music. The owner of Stratton was a very enthusiastic Tyrolean lover, and he had his time in the Ötztaler Alps in a, in a high uh, a tour on skis. He liked the Tyrolean music very much, and he wanted the Tyrolean atmosphere in Stratton very badly. So I was told to, to create it. I said that I could do it. I knew a lot of people. I was in the folklore club before, which was called Südtirol of Rhein. They did the shoe slapping and did the singing. And uh, so I knew how to build it up. We started very small. Finally got the guy which could play the accordion. And then we started point by point. I was always looking for, for good ski instructors, good skiers, they also could play a musical instrument. The accordion-playing ski instructor Emo found was Otto Eger. This guy is, I do go back again to Buchenhaus, a friend of his, Mickey Hutter, as a matter of fact, that was the name. He used to write the book about the Austrian technique. That means he also translated it into, into English. And he was in Mad River Glen at that time, and he said he would need some good state certified instructors, but possibly maybe even they can play a music or some instrument. He just came over to Mad River to introduce, as a matter of fact, to translate the Austrian technique into English. Because a, ge a gentleman by the name of Roland Barmedo at that time, he was writing the uh, English version and Mickey Hutter was helping him technically and also in writing it. So this is the way, by suggestion from Guggenhauser and Mickey Hutter, and playing that instrument which brought me to Mad River. Now I was four years in Mad River, and at that time, after three years, Emo Henrik came up skiing to Mad River. At that time I was playing in a bass lodge to some, like we call after ski music and so. That was 1964. So we got to know each other and he said, wow, playing an accordion. And that, oh, that, that was something I, I could use for Tyrolean evening in Stratton Mountain. Wouldn't you like to come to Stratton Mountain? And, uh, and I had a friend there, as a matter of fact, by the name of Herman Herzog, who was the assistant director, Amo was the director. So kind of that, uh, I, I liked that idea, that Herman was there, that Amo was there, and that we might make some more, more music there. So Amo was absolutely responsible in that case, getting me to start Mountain. That was also the time when we sort of seriously became the Stratton Mountain Boys.